How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually work Terrarium TV if it is your first time. Or if you just need to walk through everything and make sure all your settings are correct and everything. So, when you open Terrarium TV for the first time, you will see this change log. Just go down here and press OK. And then it will ask you to choose your default video player. Make sure you hit MS, MX player and hit accept. Next, what you want to do is you want to go to these three dots at the top and hit settings. Scroll down and you can filter out non-English TV shows if you want. And I personally recommend that you tick these two just so you don't see any uh, bad quality links or anything like that while you're trying to watch a movie or anything. Um, if you scroll down here, so what you want to do is you want to go down to these and just uncheck all of these, all these auto send and auto sync, all of those. Make sure you just, you just want to untick all of them. Now, you can change more stuff if you'd like, but I don't really recommend doing any of that. So you can just go back. And now here you will see all your TV shows. So it has a lot of ones. So let's say for example, you go to the search and you can search whatever you would like. So say that you want to search Narcos. And then you make sure it's under TV shows. And then boom, here it is. You go to the seasons. You see all the seasons right here. And you can switch the seasons right here. And then if you've watched the episode already, just click this little box at the top. And that'll be all. So if you want to play the uh, show or the movie, uh, you, you can just push uh, play on your Fire TV remote. And it'll start playing. Or you can come up here and uh, hit the play button at the top. And once this asks you, make sure you hit don't ask again, and you hit more ads. Trust me guys, on your Fire TV, there will, there will be barely any ads, if any at all. As you can see, the first time you try to stream something, it'll tell you which one's the fastest for less chances of lagging and buffering. If it's buffering, it is most likely not your internet's fault. So, the ones that say Google Video or Amazon... Or anything that says fast server, fast server, anything that says rapid in it, anything that's on this list right here will be the fastest, the top ones. So, just hit don't show again and got it. And at the top you will see this little play button. Make sure you hit that and make sure it's set on MX player. Now, it'll tell you the qualities on the left. So 1080p will be the best ones, and then it goes down. And we already filtered out all the bad links, so there will be no really bad ones. They might be bad quality, but they won't be cams, like recorded in the movie theater. They'll at least be better quality than that. So typically, you want to go for the best quality. It doesn't matter about the download size or the file size. Uh, this might take a little bit longer because this one does not say fast server so we're just gonna go ahead and try this one but if it takes more than 30 seconds in the beginning to load then you'll want to switch to a fast server or try a different one so right here you can play with subtitles or just push play I'm gonna show you how to play with subtitles because it opens another one so just ignore these so typically you just want to hit the first one so I'll just click the first one, and I'll start playing the video. And boom, right there it starts playing. And I'll show this, this, this little open subtitles thing, and then after the show starts, it'll go away.
stop it right there. Um, and yeah, that's all. Uh, if you want to go back, just hit the little back button on your remote. And let's try out a movie now. So just keep on pushing back on your remote. Mine's taking it a second to load. So if it does this, just let it load for a second. Alright, here we go. Uh, to get to the movies section, you can hit the top three lines. And you just go down to movies. And it'll show most popular movies right now. So you can adjust this list by filter. You go up to this and hit it. And there's like a whole bunch of filters here. There's 4K, YouTube Red, Netflix, Originals, all of that. So, mm, let's say for example you wanted to watch Black Panther. So you would hit that. And again, if you want to uh, read about it, if you want to watch the trailer, see the ratings, all of that is in here. And so you just want to hit the play button on your remote or scroll up to it. And it will load a list of streams. And just ignore this at the bottom saying that you need to verify. Just wait for the list to load. It might take a second, but it will be worth it. So if you see a good quality link, but it's not fully loaded yet, you can just go ahead and click that one. See that one says HD, and it's a Google video, which means it'll, it's one of the fastest. So I just want to hit that one, and just hit play this time. And it shouldn't take more than 30 seconds to start playing. If it does, then just switch to another stream. Baba? Yes, my son? Tell me a story. Which one? The story of home. Millions of years ago, a meteorite made and of vibranium. Start playing again. The story. So I'm gonna go back. If this ever comes up, just hit I accept. And just hit the X. And yeah, that's basically how you work Terrarium TV. If you guys have any more questions, then Feel free to contact me in the comment section, or you can email me, I'll leave my email in the description, and yeah, that's basically all. If you guys enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe to me. Other than that, have a good day, and enjoy all the movies and shows.